Testing, one, two, three, let the trash begin. Hey guys, so the title does not deceive you. This is not clickbait, this is not a test. Hey, we she, are going to be talking about gorgeous. the time that I slept with a 37 year old. And I'm not gonna lie, she's too. beautiful. Because basically I put the ass in trash. Let's just <laughs> put it that way. Let's just cut the bullshit and get right into how this happened. So this whole predicament started out with this lovely app known as Tinder. And if you have seen the video on how I lost my virginity, you would know me and dating apps don't mix. Also, a little fact that's going to play a key component in this story time is that I was 17 at the time that I signed up as being 18. So I guess I kind of lied. I scammed my way up to the top. Anyways, I was swiping through Tinder one day and there ended up being this guy who was tall, tan, had tattoos, he was like a surfer, like he was pretty good looking. So I ended up parting him, he was 27 years old, we ended up getting matched. He has watched my YouTube videos, bro, so if you're watching this- And then now, eventually we did end up talking. He did eventually ask for my personal number, which I did give to him and we were texting for a little bit. He wasn't really that big into texting and here is a quote for him. I think texting is informal. I was like, okay, you do really- Yo, when I used to be dating and stuff like that, I hated texting. I hated texting because I'm a bad texter and I feel as though like I have so much personality that it doesn't really, texting doesn't really show my personality. Then on top of that, like a lot of y'all bitches can't talk. A lot of y'all bitches can't talk. So it's just like you be texting, the texting be dry and it, 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 I hate texting. So I'm, I agree with him. I hate texting. As you're talking to a millennial, right? Texting is like all we do. So we did continue talking like on the phone because you know, he didn't like texting and texting a little bit for the next few days. And eventually he did want to meet up in person. So for our first time meeting, he did plan for us to grab drinks and have a little bonfire at the beach because he does kind of technically live on the beach. So it's pretty convenient for him. The motherfucker was taking initiative on everything. When he did come to the day of us meeting, I came up with this excuse that I was like with a friend and her mom because I was pretty fucking scared because this guy's pretty fucking built and I'm only 5'5", five five, okay? Like I'm a small ass tranny. The only thing I have to defend myself is a pocket knife and some pepper spray, so. I think he did get a little- Hold on. Hold on, did she say I'm a small ass tranny? This a man? I'm so mad and I did feel really bad for canceling on him since he did kind of plan our first meeting out. So I ended up saying, okay, well, let's just- That's a man? Weekend. Like, let me pull up our messages. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck, that was a dick pic. Not mine, his, obviously. <laughs> I don't send those. He responded and he was like, okay, sounds good. Just be respectful of my time and that we need to communicate better. Like, very authoritative. The following Friday, when it does come to the day of us meeting, I have been talking to my girlfriends all week, telling them how I'm gonna meet this like strange guy that I met off of Tinder. And they were like telling me like, girl, are you gonna be okay? Like you better be meeting him in public, yada, yada, yada. And I showed them a picture of him and they were like, bitch, he can kill you easily. So of course my friends and I concocted a plan. They were gonna spy on my date with him. So it's the day I'm gonna meet him. I'm at my house getting ready. My mom asked me where I'm going and I tell her, Going on a date with a boy that goes to like the rival high school of the high school I went to, like he's on the baseball team. But in reality, it's like this guy that my friend was talking to. I just needed something really quick in my head to come up with to tell my mom. Because I wasn't gonna tell her I was going on a date with a 27 year old that I met off of Tinder. I don't think she bro. So unless she I said mom, tranny, bro. Is this lie, a man? Right? And I end up going to our other friend's house so that all four of us can head over to where he lives. So it was three of my girlfriends and me. Once we get down to like the beach area and the boardwalk because there is a boardwalk by the beach, I end up letting him know that like I'm coming, like I'm arriving and I have like a couple of my girlfriends with me and they're just going to be down at the boardwalk while we have our little get together at the restaurant because he initially made it seem like we were going to have like a date at a restaurant. But no bitch, we are meeting at his place. He also tells me that I can bring my girlfriends up with me and like two of them are pussy ass bitches and don't want to go up. But the other one is a down ass bitch and she decides to come with me to meet him. So once we did get to where he lived, he invited us in. He was very, very friendly, very nice. Nothing serial killer-ish about him. And he told us how he just got home. I think he got back from like a bike ride or like a beach run. I'm not really sure. But the Does point of it is, is that he didn't have a chance to go out and get drinks. He ends up basically asking us if we want to go with him to the liquor store to get drinks. And 
Me and my girlfriend look at each other like, is this a good idea? Is this a good idea? Okay, let's do it. But we all end up going downstairs to where all of his cars are parked and the specific car we go in is, it's a really nice car. And I end up having to sit in the front seat while my girlfriend sits in the back. But luckily for me, the whole way there, she is the one that's very talkative because me, when I'm around guys, I'm fucking quiet as a fucking mouse. Like I literally do not make a sound. Guys just make me really nervous. Once we do end up getting the drinks and heading back to his house, my girlfriend does end up leaving me all alone with this guy. And me and him just end up making drinks and then going out to the balcony where we're gonna just, I guess, sit there the whole night and just talk. And let me just say, the drinks that he made tasted like shit because they were like 90% alcohol and 10% of mixer. And if you know me, I'm a pussy ass bitch and can barely handle alcohol in the first place. Once we do get to the balcony though and start having casual conversation and people watching, we end up talking about like my life and my transition, like what I'm going through, like all that stuff. And he ends up talking about his past a little bit, like, like how he lived in LA, growing up in so though. I don't want to give away too much just because I don't want to reveal this fucker's identity. We do end up going back to the kitchen just because our drinks do end up running out and he makes me another drink and I end up hopping on the counter and sitting there and drinking more while we were in the kitchen. And the next thing I know, the comfiest place this guy thinks to be is in between my legs. So I'm on the counter where my legs are kind of parted just because that's the way the counter is and the sucker comes right in between is all up in my face and talking more and I can like smell the alcohol on his breath. Next thing I know, we do end up starting to make out heavily in the kitchen and things do end up getting a little NSFW because I'm a trashy ass bitch. And just a little disclaimer about that night, I didn't think that I was going to end up having sex at all. Like I legit thought this was gonna be an actual date. But of course I'm a dumb bitch and you can never meet someone off of Tinder without them wanting to hook up. So yeah, that's what business, Tinder is. Don't end up letting me rinse off at a shower, thank God because fluids, let me just say that, fucking fluids. Once I'm done, I grab my phone, I'm texting my girlfriends, I'm like, okay, girl, I got to go. I got to get the fuck out of here. Like, I'm going to be doing the walk of motherfucking shame. I do end up telling him how I'm going to be leaving, and he tries, like, sweet-talking me, saying how this isn't, like, a one-time thing, like, he thinks I'm a really cool person, yada, 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 trying to give me a whole bunch of bullshit. And in my head, I'm like, okay, yeah, he thinks he can play me like a fool, but, like, psych, bitch, no, you can't. He does end up walking me to my friend's car and he like says hi to them. He ends up leaving and I tell the girls like, bitch, we gotta book it. Like, get the hell out of here. Like, let's bounce. That night he does end up texting me how he stoked on me and making sure I got home safe. And he says three words that kind of freak me the fuck out. He says, love you, babe. And if you know me, love you are two very strong words. Only really in the context where you actually spell out love you. And he did. So I was like, okay, yeah, I had a fun night. See you never. <laughs> we do end up talking a little bit after our night, but we do live separate lives. And I had finals coming up and graduation. So I didn't really have enough time to like see him again. And I really didn't plan on it until I had this epiphany in my head and realized I don't know what he does as a job. So I ended up doing what any smart person should have done initially and Googled his full name. And let me tell you, bitch, what came up was a fucking shock. I found out he's a business owner and the business that he owns is pretty interesting. I don't want to say what it is just because it probably would be easy to find out who he is. But the main thing that fucking hit me in the dick was the fact that the article was written in 2009 and it said he was 30 years old at the time. And if I'm doing my math correctly, that means he is 37 years old. No, 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 not 27, 37. So I end up confronting him and sending him a screenshot of the article and he tries totally disregarding saying that there are other articles written about him saying he's 22, basically trying to lie to me. And I just basically end up getting annoyed and like stop texting him for a little just because how are you gonna fucking lie to me when I have proof? But of course, trick ass me, couldn't stay away, dick to bomb. And we end up chatting one day and decide to meet up one more time. So that's basically what I decide in my head. I do eventually stop talking to him because he does like message me like little asshole stuff here and there. And I was starting to like, get on my nerves. So I was like, okay, fuck you. I'm not fucking you anymore. This bussy does not pop for you. Whoa, hey, hey whoa, hey, hey, hold on, cut, hold on, cut. Yo, I spent this whole time trying to figure out if like, so, so she's transgender. Oh, snap. Hey man, shout out to you, yo. I would not have been able to tell, son. I don't know if it's the makeup or like, shout out to you. I, wow. Video because I saw him message me and I was like, you know what, fucker? I'm gonna make a story time on you. 
So I really hope you guys did enjoy watching this story time. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more trashy story times like this. Trashy trend coming out to play. You can find links to holy, holy shit, bro. I did not know that. Yo. Son. That whole that whole situation kind of messed me up just now because I did not know that she was transgender. And, oh, but at the same time, you kind of tell from the voice. Now you think about it, but wow, um, that threw me off. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the story time. That threw me off. I kind of don't got no comment. Squad.